In this lecture, we'll talk about sustainability in the environment. Until the 20th century, people generally thought the environment of the environment totally in terms of how these resource could be, resources could be harnessed to satisfy their needs for food, shelter, transportation, and recreation. We define sustainability as conducting activities in such a way as to provide for long-term well-being of the natural environment, including all biological entities. Sustainability involves the interaction among nature and individuals, organizations, and business strategies, and it includes the assessment and improvement of business strategies, economic sectors, work practices, technologies, and lifestyles so that they maintain the health of the environment as well as all other natural systems. Environmental protection emerges a major issue in the 20th century in the face of increasing evidence that pollution, uncontrolled use of natural resources and population growth were putting increasing pressure on the long-term sustainability of these resources. As an example of what some companies are doing, Home Depot has adopted an eight core values as the foundation for its ethical culture, including a strong emphasis on sustainability. The eight values are listed here and can be provided in more depth in a textbook. The values are taking care of the people, giving back to our communities, doing the right thing, providing excellent customer service, creating shareholder value, building strong relationships, entrepreneurial spe uh, spirit, and respect for all people. Two main sustainability issues are pollution and alternative energy. First, pollution. Water pollution results from dumping toxic chemicals and raw sewage into rivers and oceans, oil spills, and the burden of industrial white uh, waste into the ground where it may filter into various kinds of underwater uh, reservoirs and water supplies. Uh, so the society is demanding clean water. The situation in, in Flint, Michigan over the last few years is an example where it was really lead pipes in the water supply that caused problems. Um, it's not really dumping any sort of a human activity that puts uh, chemicals like that into the water is a problem. Air pollution is usually the result of smoke and other pollutants emitted by manufacturing facilities, as well as carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons emitted by motor vehicles. These result in acid rain in the case of uh, some of those chemicals, um, but also in global warming in terms of uh, carbon and methane and other the, the types of, uh, of gases or chemicals that um, cause the uh, cause uh, the um, heat to be trapped in earth uh, in the in the atmosphere. Land pollution results from the dumping of residential and industrial waste from strip mining, forest fires, poor forest conservation, etc. And alternative energy is an important solution because it addresses to some degree the um, the problem of global warming by reducing the hydrocarbons in the air in the atmosphere. Um, so that's another sustainability issue. Um, in order to reduce those emissions, countries and companies alike are looking towards alternative energy sources, including wind power, solar power, nuclear power, biofuels, electric cars, hydro and geothermal thermal power, etc., as ways to enhance sustainability. Partly in response to federal reg legislation, such as the National Environmental Policy Act in 1969, and partly due co to consumer concerns that are increasingly uh, present in the press and in the public mind, uh, businesses are responding to environmental sustainability issues. Some companies are finding environmental consciousness can even save them money. Efforts to make products, packaging, and processes more environmental friendly is called a green, green like the color green, in a green business. Many firms are 
trying to eliminate wasteful practices, the emission of pollutants, use of harmful chemicals and other things from their manufacturing process. Some large companies have created a new executive position, a vice president of environmental affairs to help them achieve their business goals in an environmentally responsible manner. Environmentalists are concerned with some companies that some companies are merely greenwashing, as they say, or creating a positive association with environmental issues, in other words, PR, public relations, uh, for their unsustainable products and services or their practices, creating a veneer, if you will, of green or painting their business green, even though they're actually not. It's important to recognize that current technology, that with current technologies, environmentally responsible um, business requires some trade-offs. Society must weigh the huge cost of eliminating or limiting pollution against the health threats posed by the pollution and the long-term threats to the planet and to the climate. Uh, there's a balancing act there that has to be worked out. Environmental responsibility imposes costs both on the business and on the public with higher costs, higher prices, and the like. Very, very interesting and interesting area going. There are two levels of greenwashing, the term I mentioned before. When a company claims they have gr they're green because they have a few green practices such as recycling, but not, winter, not water or energy conservation, Number first or second, when the company puts on a facade about their product saying that it looks or claims to be green when in fact there's nothing green about it. An example of the first is a hotel chain, for example. Some will put out signs encouraging visitors on an extended stay not to have their towels and bedclothes washed every day in order to help save water. While at the same time, they're serving styrofoam and plastic cups for breakfast. Uh, there's uh, plastic utensils as part of their uh, their business, which have uh, have some, have environmental challenges themselves. Uh, another example, example of the second type, is uh, for example beauty products. A lot of beauty products have misleading words in their names, such as natural or herbal, pure, etc., when they actually contain chemicals and harsh components that are not derived at all in a natural context. And so they're not really, quote, green. Um, in the next lecture, we'll put some of this together and talk about how businesses and communities interact and why there's an important trend in business along the lines of ethics and social responsibility.